Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Yeah, uh, is asking what is the of record as a title. Yeah, uh, here title means uh, you know, this is a browser, right? This Amazon.com, Mozilla Firefox, this is the title. Okay, so for each navigation, why it is not changing? Let me show it up in Google. See here, the title is for is Google. Okay. Now I'm searching for automation. Now the title is changed to automated. Okay. For each navigation, your title is getting changed. Okay. If you select this option, record as a title automatically, you know, <coughs> excuse me. It automatically check for this title. Automatically, uh, you know, as it, as, it, as it is nothing but verification. Okay. It automatically verify this uh, particular, uh, you know, uh, title is getting changed from one, uh, one page to other page. It automatically records that step. Okay, but the problem is here. Now the script is we used automation testing. Say if we change it to performance, I have to take care about that other title because my uh, you know, title is going to change as performance. Okay, in that case we have to take care about that if we use this option. If we use this option, we have to make sure that that uh, you know the data that you are going to mention in the script it should not affect your uh, script. Otherwise, they can throw error. Okay, and that is the reason. They, by default, they uh, they have a disable this option. They gave that option, but by default, they have disable this option. Okay. Now coming to help. Now this talks about documentation. So which gives documentation in the online itself. Okay. Your element documentation. This is actually it is the one kind of framework in Selenium IDE itself. Okay, so it's again see here. This is a, uh, another documentation which is available in help file. Suppose if you find any issue, you can report that issue here. Okay, it is opening on the website here. Okay, see here. It is Google project, so you can uh, open, uh, you can log in with your Gmail credentials. If you find any issue, you can raise that issue. Okay, release notes, you can find the uh, recent release notes. Okay, the latest versions. You see here, currently it seems they are working for uh, 2.4.0. Okay, we worked on 2.3.0. If you remember, I uh, know we, we downloaded 2.3.0. And if you also observe here, they are working on 2.4.0. In that they are you know looking for these issues. So adding ability to show comments has deprecated. They are you know they are see here deprecating Selenium IDE comments. They were there was something called key up, key uh, you know key down, key press. Okay, actually we are going to discuss this in our session. Maybe in next class we will discuss about these things. It seems that in 2.4.0 they are going to deprecate. Deprecate means. I know they are uh, you know, removing these options in next version. However, uh, you know, as they are using 2.3.0, you know, these, these pops are going to, uh, these will be available. We will discuss in our class, in our next class. Okay, so this is unreleased. 
okay official cell name blog official cell name website so it gives an you know, official cell name website is nothing but the cell name hq hq dot org okay so we have discussed almost every feature here every option that we are able to see here you know except this yo element roll up and in uh, options this particular uh, option i know i was i forget about this option actually we used it now i forget this option i will i will explain this okay this ui element this roll up and uh, this option here this reload this roll up here also we have two things these two things these two this options option this particular web driver okay we you uh, know as of now we are uh, except five options we have discussed everything here okay now in our next class we are going to discuss about selenium commands selenium commands means this commands if you observe here if you observe here it has around 300 plus commands here okay we are we will not we will, we will not going to discuss each and every command uh, no we will discuss the types of commands in our next class we will discuss about types of commands means there will be some set of command, uh, categories that category almost covers each and every commands actually as i said uh, commands see here uh, around 300 plus commands are there okay out of 300 plus commands actually there are some four categories this four categories if you understand this what is each and every category you will understand almost around uh, you know 250 plus commands okay apart from that we will learn about some special commands okay in our next class we will talk about commands and uh, let us see in our syllabus what we have discussed we have discussed features of selenium ide which is nothing but uh, we have uh, you know, discussed each and everything here right and uh, we, we also we already discussed in how to install selenium ide and uh, selenium ide recording first test with selenium we uh, we have recorded a script right and we exported that particular step also uh, okay and we have some option here ide context menu we will discuss it next class and i was talking about types of comments right this is a thing verifying wait these are the four types of comments assertions verification wait for uh, wait command storing these are the four types of comments if you understand these four types of comments these four meanings what is this assertion what is this verification what is this wait what is this store if you understand these four meanings you will cover around 250 plus comments okay now of course we already discussed this right adding selenium ide comments we discussed that building test cases using selenium ide we discussed that synchronization command we did not discuss okay uh, let me do one thing uh, we have to discuss this one in our uh, next class okay let me use underline okay synchronization command we have to discuss and creating test suits we have discussed now what you cannot record yes we will discuss this also in the next class what we cannot record using selenium ide okay and i was talking some special comments right these are the special comments i was talking some special comments right these are some special comments okay next class we will cover uh, this underlining uh, you know concepts in this section and this special comments special comments once we are done with this maybe next probably in next class next class we are, we are going to done with selenium ide okay after that we will start with selenium web driver uh, which is nothing but java we will start with java yeah any questions so far here uh, yes mohini i will share the video don't worry okay go through that video if you have any questions you can uh, you know email me uh, Judy, uh, most probably you will get uh, this uh, in another 12 hours. You will get this video in another 12 hours. Uh, Sirisha, I know my best uh, recommendation is, you know, whatever we have discussed today, right? Assignment, yeah, let me say in terms of, you uh, know, in terms of the terminology. Yeah, everyone who observe here, today's assignment is, you know, everyone please, uh, you know, uh, record these steps. The steps that I have listed here, the steps, okay. 
one thing and apart from that you know you know use this option okay once you record use this option okay try to observe this log file use this you know this these options use this option okay use these four options and you know try to execute your script in fast mode and slow mode okay and uh, keep it debug point here set it toggle break point and execute this okay so in total let me say you know three things one is record a script use this option find option second option okay try to use this find option try to use this log option third one fourth one is execute your script in different modes okay and fifth option is mention a breakpoint toggle breakpoint okay five things and the sixth thing is observe all the menus okay let me right one thing called assignment okay record a script with these options first thing is this is first first one okay after that use use find option to check whether i uh, know the objects are getting highlighted or not use log option okay fourth one execute script script in slow and fast modes just observe that okay and uh, use what we use, what we call that uh, use uh, toggle breakpoint okay and the sixth option is you now observe all the menus in selenium my dear okay yeah if you want you can just take a screenshot of azure now everyone uh, know if you want you can just take a screenshot and you can practice this however i will share this uh, no excel sheet don't worry okay so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.